Hi, it's uh, Connor Neff here from Conman884, and today I'm going to review the GoPro Surf Hero uh, camera. So when you take it out of the box, you're going to have this in the waterproof case and the quick release mount here with your quick release screw. Um, the first thing you'll notice is it's uh, got this case around it, and it's very compact, which is great and to take it out off the quick release mount you unscrew this and once you get that off you can take this hinge off and now this can mount to any GoPro um, uh, type mount uh, for example you can use your uh, what comes with it is this FCS mount. What you do is you gotta get a FCS um, uh, cutout thing into your board, and then this can mount in there. And you put the FCS screw in, and then you, once this is in your board, you can put this in. put that in and you just screw that in. Um, another thing you'll notice is your safety leash here. When you you get this it comes with you if you're just holding the camera you can put it through your wrist it's good to make sure you don't lose it. Um, another thing is with the surf mount the adhesive uh, board mount it's a like three-fourths circle and then there's another little piece that you put this through and it attaches and then it'll keep that from going away if this comes out of the um, adhesive mount. Um, another thing, this quick release mount goes into any, um, any buckle type uh, mount like this, such as the curved adhesive mount and the flat adhesive mount. And you have it on the camera with the screw and then you just put it through like so and with this you'll notice when you move this when the camera's on there there's a lot of give to fix that it comes with a rubber um, stabilizer thing and you just put it in the buckle part and there you go and there's no minimal to no give Another thing I recommend buy for 15 bucks, you can pick up this orange thing. This is the floaty back door is what it's called. And what this does is it makes the camera float. Without this, if your camera falls off your board or off your hand, your camera will sink. And that's not good because that's almost $300 you would have just lost. And another thing, it's very simple to use. You've got two buttons. You've got your power button and your shutter button. You've got four different settings. You can videotape. You can do a still camera. You can do a th triple sequence shot, and you can do a um, time shot, which you can. What that is, is you can set however long, say two seconds or five seconds, and then it'll take a picture, which is great. Uh, when a set is coming up, you just press that button, and then in f every two seconds, it'll take a uh, photo. What you'll notice the camera will also come with is a um, a water a non waterproof back door, and for example, this is your waterproof back door as it has a case a covering right there. The non waterproof does not, as you can see, and this is great for if you're trying to record better sound. And uh, the waterproof case has a rounded uh, lens covering for there. You can also buy the flat lens covering for underwater, but this is great if you're not going to be doing any scuba diving or underwater shots. And to get inside of your camera to get your memory card or USB in there, you just flip this open. Open the back door. 
and your camera comes out like so. And then you'll see it very compact, uh, and it produces a great image. And then your this is your memory card slot, and your USB and outlet if you want to watch it straight to your TV or HD TV, which is a great feature. And you can also record in several different resolutions. You can do 720p at 30 FPS and 60 FPS, 960p at 30 FPS, that's the standard resolution, and 1080p, which is the largest image um, at 30 FPS. The 60 FPS produces a slow motion, which is great for uh, any type of sports or anything like that. It'll come with uh, two manuals, you got your tips, mounting, and care, and your instructions guide which will help you get set up. And it comes with your TV, like I said, here's your plugs over here, you plug it in, this is the red, yellow, and white, it goes into this, goes into the bottom one for regular TV. And then you also have for HD TV, you have red, blue, and green plugs into the HD TV slot. And you can watch this TV. Um, I recommend a memory card of 16 gigabytes or over as it'll provide for the best uh, amount of time uh, for recording. Anything lower than that, you, uh, you won't get a lot of... Uh, um, memory on there and video, so you want to do more than that. And then here's your um, USB charger, and you can put files onto your computer with this. Um, I don't have the surfboard uh, adhesive mount with me because it's on my board, but a great piece. Make sure you apply that um, in temperature conditions to allow for to allow for better adhesive and uh, make sure that you use a um, wax remover. Let me see what that's called exactly. Um, clean the deck of where you're gonna, the deck of your board where you're gonna put the adhesive with acetone wax remover to make sure that no um, remnants of that is left behind or else it can compromise the adhesive qualities and uh, adhesive can come off which would be not good at all um so that's pretty much it creates great uh video quality and look forward to seeing some of my um videos from this coming up soon thank you and please subscribe or uh comment